Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Dirt, brought to you by Dirt Tracks Television. You know, we see so many comments on this channel about how expensive ATVs are nowadays. So today, we'll be giving you the dirt on the top five value ATVs we've tested. Once again, we'll be giving away a prize pack, which includes one of our premium DT trucker style hats and a Dirt Tracks t-shirt. Stick around and I'll tell you more about how you can win that later on in the show. Social media is an excellent way for us to keep in touch with our viewers. We read all your comments, every single one. And the subject that keeps coming up time and again is the price of a new ATV nowadays. This has to come with some perspective though. If you think you can grab a fully loaded 1000cc V-twin from a dealer for less than five grand, you're kidding yourself. However, there are some great options out there that can keep you inside your budget. We think the manufacturers are reading your comments too, as we're seeing a move towards ATVs with fewer bells and whistles at more affordable prices that aim to keep you on the trail without sacrificing performance. We've tested a bunch of these ATVs and have developed a matrix comparing value features and price. So here's our top five value picks. Kimco has really made some big leaps forward in its ATV department. A recent overhaul of its bodywork makes this ATV one of the nicest looking sport utility models on the market. And features like its smooth shifting clutches, diff lock, an ultra smooth gear shifter, decent storage, and a two inch hitch receiver make the 500 MXU worthy of this list. Let's not forget Arctic Cat's been using this engine in its ATV lineup for years. We feel the ride quality of the 500 MXU is still a work in progress. It tends to feel a little tippy and sharp cornering, which could be helped by a slightly stiffer sway bar and a few tweaks to the out of the crate shock calibration could improve ride quality immensely. Kimco's biggest weakness is its smaller dealer network, which means you may have to do some driving to find a vehicle and post-purchase service at the dealership may be a bit of a hassle. That said, Kimco USA just dropped the price of this ATV from $7,499 to $5,999. And at that price, this vehicle deserves some serious attention. You know Honda's gonna be on this list. The Rancher 420 with IRS got a makeover in the past year or so with all new bodywork similar to the Foreman Rubicon. This ATV features independent rear suspension, 4x4, fuel injection, and Honda's dual clutch transmission. As equipped, this 420 Rancher is the most expensive ATV on our list at $7,299. However, those five letters on the side carry a reputation for build quality and reliability, not to mention Honda's incredibly strong dealer network across the world. These ATVs are made to last, and after the zombie apocalypse, everyone's gonna be riding Honda. Yamaha overhauled its Kodiak ATV lineup last season and plopped a 708cc single under its seat. Yes, this is the same 708 single as the Grizzly, and the Wolverine, and the Viking. Look, it's the same engine, okay? The biggest difference in this engine's performance is its fuel mapping and it's clutched for lower RPM engagement. Don't get us wrong, it still has a lot of snap and it's the right engine for this chassis, but more importantly, it's tuned correctly for its target market, entry-level riders, hunters, and farmers. We talked earlier about stripped down ATVs and the base model Kodiak is exactly that. There's no light pod, it uses a mechanical 4x4 lever, there's not even a fuel gauge and no diff lock either. You can get all these features by shelling out a bit more and moving up trim levels, but at that point, you really need to think about whether you just want to move right into a Grizzly. The Kodiak in this trim level is about as basic as it gets, and at an MSRP of $6,999, it's the second most expensive ATV on this list but what you get for that price is a nearly 50 horsepower engine, superior ride quality, excellent build quality, and industry leading reliability. Last year, Polaris tucked its fuel injected 30 horsepower ProStar engine into a full size classic sportsman chassis called the Sportsman ETX. This ATV features McPherson struts up front, dual A-arm IRS out back, as well as high low range, Polaris on demand four wheel drive, and disc brakes at all four corners. These are all valuable features that we would look for in an ATV in this class. The ETX is light on extras, with its basic steel wheels, analog gauge, and don't expect to find EPS anywhere on the sales sheet. But at $5,999, this ATV is a bargain and is definitely worth consideration. That is, if you can find one on your dealer's showroom floor. It should be noted that for 2016, Polaris introduced a 450 Sportsman to replace the ETX at the same price and just about the same horsepower output. This one caught us off guard, but after fighting over the data, the truth was just undeniable. Can-Am's Outlander L is a sweetheart of a deal. The Outlander L also has some pretty strong features not found on other models on this list. Visco lock locking front diff, 
decent storage, a digital gauge cluster, torsional trailing arm independent rear suspension, plus it's basic steel racks except Can-Am's Link system, which might be the easiest way to secure products to your rack industry-wide. Here's the kicker. The unit we tested was a 500, but the Outlander L now comes with a Rotax 570 V-Twin engine for the bargain basement price of $6,799. A nearly 50 horsepower engine, a long list of great features, and a respectable price is why Can-Am's Outlander L is our number one value pick. So let me tell you now how you can win this week's prize pack. We just want to know which ATV you think is the best value. Did we miss one you feel should have been included on this list? Or is there a value ATV you think we need to evaluate? Post your answer in the comments section below and we'll pick a winner online very soon. That's it for this episode of The Dirt. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash dirttrackstv. Thanks for watching.